Sup's up everybody and welcome to episode 5 of the Pokemon Let's Play for Leaf Green. We're just going to hop in right into going into the gym and taking on the challenge. We have Littlefoot up front. This is going to be quite the sweep with him. Let's just talk about this guy. Yo, champ in the making. Let me give you some advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. You can train all their water with grass type Pokemon, which is Littlefoot. Or you might use electric type Pokemon and zap them. Well, thanks, my dude. We're going to go ahead and battle these trainers. This first one, his name is Swimmer Luis. Uh, I'm sorry, Swimmer Luis. That is, um, look at that good form right there from swimming and diving. He has a horsey. Uh, this is, like I said, this is going to be an easy, easy sweep with a little foot. We're just going to razor leaf this down. Perfecto. It is super effective. So, like I said, Easy sweep, broom, broom. And now he has a shelter, which is a water type that will turn into a water ice type. We'll get on that when it becomes available. But again, Razor Leaf takes it down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. $64. Come on, Luis, man. You can do a little bit better than that. And then this one right here. It's a Picnicker. Uh, Misty won't have to be bothered, apparently, because she's going to beat us. Um, but we have Picnicker Diana, and she would like to battle. She's going to use Goldeen, which is just another fish Pokemon. It's a water type, uh, but with Littlefoot, one Razor Leaf will do the job, and we're going to go to level 23. Jordan year for Littlefoot. You overwhelmed me. Timmy B got $380 for winning. All right, I'm not even going to heal. Um, we're going to take on Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. And because of that, Misty is one of my favorite gym leaders. Uh, I love water-type Pokemon. I love the Pokemon that Misty uses. And I like the aggressiveness and offensiveness when it comes to my training. Um, but anyways, let's hop into the battle. She's going to start out with a level 18 Staryu. Staryu is just a water-type with the moves Tackle, Harden, Recover, and Water Pulse. If we outspeed it, uh, this should only take one hit. Uh, he's going to use Harden to raise the defense with Razor Leaf being his special attack. That won't do anything. So this should be a one hit. Yep. So Staryu is done. Now next up is going to be her prized Pokemon, Starmie. Starmie is going to be level 21. It is a water psychic type with the moves Rapid Spin, Swift, Recover, and Water Pulse. This would be a little bit more dangerous if it knew a psychic move because we are type poison. So it would be super effective against us, but she doesn't have any. It's going to outspeed us, so it might hit us with water pulse for confusion. But we're just going to razor leaf this down. It uses swift. It's not going to miss. This should be a one hit. It's not. Uh-oh. Um, not to worry. She's going to use a potion, so we're just going to use tackle. Make sure that... Uh, we hit it hard again with Razor Leaf. That should do the jump for Razor Leaf. Again, going to use Swift. It's an attack that does not miss. Um, but we're going to Razor Leaf. This should be the win right here. If not, we're going to have to Leech Seed it. And boom, we just took down Misty. Um, again, if it had a Psychic move or if it confused us with Water Pulse, could have been a little bit different. Littlefoot is now level 24. But we just beat Misty. Wow, you're too much. All right, you can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. And we got 2,100 Poke, Poke Dollars. Yay. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. And we received TM03, which is Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. 
Water Pulse is a great water move that can also confuse the target its 60 power, which is pretty good and can hold throughout the game. Uh, especially if you get a water Pokemon early, it's a great move to use. If you were to get Magikarp from that guy by Mount Moon, uh, it is fantastic to put on Gyarados as soon as it evolves. Um, I might put it on my Pokemon if it can learn Water Pulse, um, but then again, if we don't if we get 100 subscribers and you choose a different Pokemon, then it might not get on it. So let's just, I'm not going to heal, not going to worry about that. The people in here were robbed, we know that from last episode. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind the most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Saying the same thing, okay, but now we can go inside. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Ha ha ha. So punny. Those miserable rockets! Look what they done to my house! They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes! I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Well, that's a good couple of Pokemon to put Dig on. However, once we get Dig in just a quick second from beating this guy, we're going to get Dig and we're going to put it on Spike. So. We're going to battle this Team Rocket Grunt here. He has, he's going to start off, he has two Pokemon. He's going to start off with a Machamp, which is why you just saw me put Spike in the beginning. Spike has Peck. It's super effective against Machamp. This should be a one hit. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. Uh, Karate Chop, not going to do anything. Get out of here. So one more Peck will do it. And Spike might get to level 24. He does not, but now next up is Drowsy. Drowsy is a Psychic type Pokemon. We don't have really anything to beat with it um, that's super effective, so we're just going to brute force it with Spike and Thrash. One hit, it's all done. This is going to get us to level 24. Hooray! And we defeated the team Rocket Grunt. Stop! I give up. I'll leave quietly. And he returns the TM for Dig, which he stole. He gave it to us. We get to keep it. If we go back and say, like, hey, man, we got it. I'd figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. So in the time of that ba battle, he left his house, caught Diglett, and then returned. Um, but like I said, we got TM number 28, which is Dig. Oh, it's right there. Sweet. And this is immediately going on Spike. Which move for, should be forgotten? So Dig is a ground type move. It's 60 power, 100% accuracy. It hits on the second turn. So the first turn we dig. We can't get hit unless in Generation 2, this was a new addition. If the opponent uses Magnitude, Earthquake, or Fissure, we can get hit underground for... Um, some major major damage but that shouldn't be an issue and then we'll attack with dig uh we are half ground type as you can see so we're going to replace poison sting and we're going to ride with this amazing move set for a little bit dig is going to be a great move against electric types which hint hint is the next gym so spike is learning dig outside of battle too if we are in a cave or a sticky situation we can dig out of it um so with that we're going to move on down here to root there's one new Pokemon that we can catch here, and that Pokemon is Meowth. Meowth is a normal type that will evolve into Persian. You may remember the talking Meowth from the anime. Actually, it's probably the only thing you remember Meowth for because this is not a good Pokemon. Persian is, you know, decently fast, but has awful other stats, and there's no good use in this game. There are dozens of better other normal types that I would want to have before I even consider using Meowth or Persian. But it does no cut and it is a nice little Pokemon to collect so we might have to catch it to be an HM slave for us. No wild Pokemon there so we're going to head into this building. I run the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? So this is the daycare center. This guy will raise your Pokemon and charge 100 Poke Dollars and then 100 more for each level grown. This is really good if you wanted to train some early Pokemon or if you catch a po Pokemon at a lower level to bring it here to get a couple levels to kind of catch up if you don't want to do the training yourself and you have the money. However, he kind of raises it on his own and might delete some moves that you'd want to keep or, you know, teach a move that you might not want it to teach. 
So before you leave a Pokemon in the daycare, make sure you know your Pokemon's moveset and when it learns moves by leveling up, and then always kind of come back every couple of minutes, every couple of hours to see how he that Pokemon is doing. Make sure it doesn't hit that level of the move that you want to teach, but it's still pretty good. So we're not going to put anybody in the daycare right now. We only have two Pokemon anyway, so we need both of them for some upcoming battles. We can't go down this way through the gate. He won't allow us to go. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there. the road's closed. So he's thirsty, won't let us through. So we have to go through the underground path. This girl right here is looking for a female Nidoran. She will trade it for her male Nidoran. This is a good opportunity to get either Nido King or Nido Queen if you don't want to try and catch it back by Mount Moon as it is 1% in Fire Red, you would trade the male Nidoran to get the female Nidoran. So it, it really depends whether or not you want to trade for it or if you want to wait around for 10-15 minutes like I did to try to get that 1% catch rate. Um, but since we already have Spike, we're good. That's too bad. That's too bad for you. I already got a Nido King. This is the underground path, and there are a lot of items down here. There's an antidote, awakening, burn heal, ice heal, paralyzed heal, and a potion. It's good to stock up for free, but I'm going to save you the trouble and not spend three to five minutes just going around pressing A trying to find something. So once I get the item finder, I'll come back and just pick them up so I can stock up my bag. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Wow, thanks. So now we are on Route 6. There are no new Pokemon here that we can catch, um, but there are some items up here. The first one is going to be a Citrus Berry. A Citrus Berry is a lot like the Orn Berry, where instead of healing 10%, it will heal 30% HP, or I'm sorry, 30 HP, uh, 30 points, not 30%. Um, it's a good berry to put on. I'll definitely put it on somebody, and then there should be... Um, an item here. Here we go. And we found a rare candy. That's a great item to have. Like uh, previous episodes, it'll add a level to one of our Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the PC and then level up with the rare candies later on once I get my full team. So here in Route 6, I'm just going to slap on a good old repel right here. And there are a lot of trainers that I'll just go ahead and train off screen. The guy up on your left is a bug catcher. He has a bunch of bug Pokemon, so it's going to be pretty easy with Spike uh, to peck it down. This guy right here is a camper. He has a Squirtle, um, so that's going to be good for Littlefoot to, to Razor Leaf that down. You're a Picnicker with a Rattata and Pikachu, so again, it's going to be great for Spike. Uh, double kick down that Rattata and then use our new move Dig on the Pikachu to take it down easily. This guy is unavoidable. It's another bug catcher. Um, we're going to go ahead and battle him, and then these two are unavoidable, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Find out. Bugcatcher Elijah will have a Butterfree. Butterfree is level 20. With Spike's pack, this could take a couple of rounds. Um, if we do get status, like if we fall asleep or something, it does have sleep powder right there. We did fall asleep, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if we have any items to uh, awake us or wake us up, not awake us. Um, do, do, do. Uh, we do not. Do we have any berries that wake us up? We don't. So we're going to be in this for the long haul. Hopefully uh, we wake up sooner rather than later. We're fast asleep. Supersonic, that confuses us, which is why this battle could be so tough. It can put us to sleep. It can confuse us. I believe it can poison us as well. Um, I don't know if it can attack us at all, but... This could take a little bit longer, so we woke up. Now we're confused. Please hit. Awesome. Easy work with this Butterfree. Like I said, can can be a little tricky, but we take him down easily. Uh, good, good job, Spike. Take that, Elijah. You're too good. I know. This first one right here is going to be a Picnicker. We don't really have anything good to beat it with. She'll have three Pidgeys. So we're just going to thrash it down with Spike.
So Thrash, as we learned last episode, it'll attack for two to three turns, and you can't choose another attack. And after those two to three turns, we will get confused. See, we don't even have the option to switch out or the attack in battle. Um, obviously, right now, we will have the option to switch out, but we're just going to brute force this down again. Hopefully, we don't get confused. Hopefully, we do hit that final time. Oh, nope, we got confused. We became confused due to fatigue, not an issue, poison point, Pidgey, so even if we don't hit, we're going to do a little bit of damage on P Pidgey, but Spike's going to have some pretty good, nope, never mind, we hurt ourselves in confusion. Pidgey is hurt by poison, and hopefully we have a little bit better, oh, we even snapped out of confusion, perfect, game, set, match, get out of here, Picnicker. Isabel. Good try, though. Good try. And then this fella right here, he's a camper. Uh, what's his name? I have no idea what his name is. Camper Jeff. My name is Jeff. He has a Spearow at level 16. We're just going to thrash this down yet again with Spike. Uh, this is going to be an easy one hit. We're going to go to level 25, which is awesome. Spike is just... Look at his attack. 58. Ooh, that's good for a level 25 Pokemon, and then he has Eradicate, although Double Kick would be better since we're mid-thrash right now, we're just going to have to go ahead and uh, thrash it down. And we defeat a Camper Jeff. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Timmy B got 320 Poke Dollars. And that's it for Route 6, and we are in Vermilion City right now. Let's talk to you. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. And he has a Machop. Guo! Goo -go -go -go. So we are now in Vermilion City and we are going to end the episode right here. We took down Misty's Gym. We took down that Team Rocket Grunt to get the TM for Dig. And we explored Route 5 and Route 6. Took down a couple of trainers in the process. Reminder, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Ring the bell to be notified. Uh, once we get to 100, I'll let you choose the final team member of our team. Next episode, we'll explore Vermilion City and looking forward to it. We will see you later soon. Not later soon. That was dumb. We will see you later. Hopefully soon. Okay. Bye-bye.